All right, just a little walk around the project here is a motor mount. I sure wish uh, somebody had a 3D scanner. I could get a CAD copy of this thing. All right, quick overview of the RX-1 here. I gotta get on the scale, but uh, most people say it weighs in as it sits here in the 150 or 160 pound range. But uh, yeah, just looking around, I'm really impressed with the way things are built. A lot of integrated components. I'm used to use, having everything hanging uh, on the outside. You know, you get your alternator magneto in there and a starter there. It's got a spin-on filter and a water pump down here. This is the inlet to the water. Oil pumps in here. All that stuff is gear drive. And there your carbs go on this side. And... Uh, Exhaust on this side. You got uh, your CDI coils that go in each of the cylinders here. You got uh, a couple ports on top there for hot water outlet there. Otherwise, the engine pumps it right on through there. We got an oil uh, cooler down here. The Liqu uh, liquid cools that, of course. And uh, yeah, pretty well set. And looking forward to. Getting it hooked up, wiring's real simple. That's all that comes out of the motor right there. And here's the rest of the wiring. Here's your ECU. That just gets plugged in, straight and simple. Off that we got uh, ignition, tack, and uh, starter relays. So that's the starter trigger inside the cockpit. Outside, pretty simple. Just all your uh, hookups for your, each uh, cylinder on the top there for each uh, coil. There's a tag here for a throttle position and one for coolant temp as well. I won't use a coolant temp because there is a limp mode. If it fi feels it's hot, it'll uh, go into limp. I had that in my snowmobile a little bit. Here's some of the other components. Just a cooling uh, tank and uh, thermostat and then the oil tank here. There's a dipstick. It's got two leads in there and then a float switch on it. So when it's sitting in the tank, it'll sense the oil level and uh, try to hook up a lighted and buzzing switch to that. If that uh, gets low, it'll give me a good warning, which would be nice. And he's leaking the system when you're out flying, and you're gonna notice it when you still have probably two quarts left but if it gets there you know you better uh, take care of a problem real quick and there's the airplane here nothing too special uh, well built by whoever did it I'm really impressed so I stripped out a little here for getting things done but a basic panel nothing going on there too fancy get the full Lotus floats coming in next that'll be project number two